Namaste, Sitaram. A pleasant good morning. Welcome to Rudraya. I'm your host, Nisha Sharma, and Rudraya is being brought to you with the kind compliments of Maharujadip Mandir. And of course, the Mandir is located at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 34 in Scarborough, with Tapscott and McNichol being our closest intersection. So we want to start off by wishing you a happy, happy Holi. Uh, this week, of course, we're celebrating Holi this weekend. And the official um, day of, of, of Holi is on March 6th. So uh, throughout the program today, I will be giving you highlights on what's happening, um, you know, across the GTA and where you can go to get, you know, your, your holy celebrations, which, which our venue will be hosting different holy celebrations. Uh, but for now, we'll start, we'll begin Rajaya with our Pravachan as customary by our spiritual leader, Pandit Ravi Sharma. Enjoy. Prem se bole shri, aaj shakti jagadambe mata ki jai. Dear devotees, as you've heard uh, that uh, we'll be celebrating Holi, or which we call as Bhagwa. So it is said that the word Bhagwa itself falls in the holy month of Falgun, which is the month that we are in right now. Holi or Bhagwa is a season, as we have always heard, is when we kind of come in towards the end of the harsh winter season and enter into the season of spring with Noratri, etc. Holy, of course, we've always been told that it was the triumph of good over evil. And I'm sure that you must uh, have heard of the beautiful episode from the Bhagat Mahapuran, Vishnu Puran, where the Lord Himself uh, came and He protected the young devotee, Bhakta Prahlad. Bhakta Prahlad, although He was born in a demonic family. When I say demonic family, there was no prayer being done. It was ruled by a king, Hiranyakashipu, who would commit a atrocious act. And so when Bhakta Pradalad came of age, he sent him to the finest Gurukul school where he should be taught about how the asuras or the demonic one lives. And so Bhakta Pradalad, that when he went, that instead of listening towards the evil words that were being taught to him, he began to instruct all the other young boys, even the guru who was teaching about the glories of Bhagwan Shri Narayan, Bhagwan Vishnu. And so the time itself came, as every parent should do at times, not just send the child itself to school, but they should also go in for himself and see what the child is actually doing. And so the father, Hiranyakashipu, he went in. And when he heard what his son was teaching, he became angry. And he said to us, the guru, the teacher, that what are you teaching my son? He said, I have no control. Devotees, Hiranyakashipu, he was blessed with a boon that he could not be destroyed or he could not be harmed or killed in the night or the day, outside or the inside, etc. And so when Hiran Kashipu said towards the young boy, what have you learned? He began to explain about Navda Bhakti, Sharavanam, Kirtanam, Bandhanam, Archanam, etc. Listen to the glories of God. Pay keen and close attention towards the Lord. Devotees, Hiran Kashipu, he became quite upset. And then he said that, 
he sent his soldiers to get rid of Prahlad. They threw him over a cliff. But Lord himself came at Oven Hamza and catched him. They threw him on hot boiling oil. Nothing could have happened. He called upon his own sister, who was called as Holika, that she had the boon that anybody she embraces, that they will burn to ashes. She embraced Prathalad. And instead of burnt to ashes, she was burnt to ashes. And so we get the word Holika also. But to culminate it and to conclude, when the king Hiran Kashipu said to us, his son, as he glaring, he said, that you believe that your God is here, here and everywhere? Bhakti Prahlad said with firm devotion, yes. He is here, here and everywhere. Then he said, prove it. Prahlad says, certainly. What would you like to do? The king Hiran Kashipu came and he took out his sword, his kadga. And he said, if your God is here to protect you, when I smash this pillar, you'll be destroyed. And as he smashed this pillar, came out the form of the Lord Bhagwan Shri Narsamha, which was half lion, half man, half animal, half man. He took the, and he grabbed the Hiranyakashipu and put it upon his knees, which was neither in the air or neither on the ground. It was just on the juncture of the doorway, which was neither inside nor outside. And he destroyed this Hiranyakashipu. When this was done, the Lord Narasimha, he said to Prahlad that, ask whatever boon you want. Even if you wish that your father should come back to life, ask for whatever you want, you will attain it. Bhakti Prahlad stated that all I want is to become a servant of yours in this life and in all life. The Lord Narasimha said that, oh Prahlad, indeed, that not for one generation, but for seven generations of those who are yet to come, they will all attain the benefit of devotion of what you have committed. Such is called as duty and devotion of the child. May the blessings of the Lord be upon each and every one of you. Om Shanti, 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 Hi, Hari, Hi, Om. My dear viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this morning's uh, Prabhachan and of course throughout, throughout the program today, we will also be celebrating Holi with you in the comfort of your homes through um, you know, various uh, different types of songs that we normally sing um, to celebrate Holi. And of course, if you are interested in attending a Holi celebration today, the Ontario Hindu uh, Cultural Association is having a grand uh, Chow Tal celebration at the Devi Mandir. Uh, in Pickering and it starts at 1 p.m. today so t admission is only ten dollars so we do urge you there are lots of members um, from Maharujadev Mandir as well who will be participating at this grand event so we hope to see you there this afternoon uh, so please join with them and with that in mind uh, celebrating Holy today on Rudraya I hope you enjoy this next item <laughs> Doi doi para we gagaria sawaria. Doi doi para we gagaria.
पटिया लाल चीटा के चके मारे नजारिया It is time for the corporate segment, so I'll introduce you to the host for the corporate segment, Kamal Ji from Lotus Funeral Home. Hey, and Namaste. My name is Kamal Bardwaj, and I'm the owner of Lotus Funeral and Cremation Centre in Toronto and Kitchener Funeral Homes and Crematorium in Kitchener. I'm also a licensed funeral director. Helping children grieve can be difficult because how they show their grief depends on their level of maturity and the relationship they had with the person who passed away. They may express what they are feeling in a number of ways, such as humor, behavioral issues, or sleep problems. Their grief may come and go, and the intensity of their feelings may vary. Each child's reaction to losing someone is unique. This can present particular challenges when helping children grieve, but is normal. How you react can make a difference, but what you should say or do as well. Of course, you should use your best judgment and use a child's maturity level as a guide. Here are some things not to do. Don't avoid the child. Be present and open if the child has questions. Answer as honestly as you can. If you are not the child's parent, it is a good idea to discuss them how they are handling information so you can follow their lead. Don't pretend everything is normal. The child knows things have changed. How much a child understands depends, will depend on the age and relationship to the deceased. Don't shut them out. Engaging children in the planning of activities can help them feel connected to what is happening around them. At Lotus Funeral and Cremation Center and at Kitchener Funeral Homes and Crematorium, we operate seven days a week and 24 hours a day. Our crematorium is located in our building so we never have to leave our building in cold or bad weather for cremation. Our crematorium space can have a large group of people to attend the witnessing of the cremation as well. For Hindu families, we can provide all the puja items, including fresh leaves and a haven kund. Kirtan groups can be organized by Lotus, including supplying all the instruments. We have large halls that accommodate 500 seating to smaller ones. We are centrally located for families in the West and for families in the East. For more information, please contact me from the telephone number on the screen. Thank you for watching and see you next week on Rudraya. Sitaram. Life is beautiful, but death is inevitable. I realized this when my dad passed away. So much pain and amidst all this, the worry of arranging a funeral. Thankfully, in all this, Kamal stood by me. From the viewing to the cremation, he arranged it all at one location. Once someone is gone, they don't come back. But Lotus Funeral Home knows how to give them a respectable farewell. Lotus Funeral Home. Life must be celebrated. 
In fact, the Festival of Colors is another name for a religious holiday celebrated here in Trinidad and Tobago, better known as Pagwa or Holi. Pagwa is a vibrant celebration that marks the beginning of the Hindu New Year and the end of winter in India. East Indians who came to Trinidad and Tobago from Bihar in 1845 as indentured laborers brought with them this festival and since then Pagwa has been celebrated here for the past century and a half. On this day, merrymakers smear each other with a special powdered dye called a beer. Kids dash about with water guns and water balloons ready to spray anyone they dash past. Everyone should be considered fair game. Pagwa represents an opportunity for all to play and laugh, forget and forgive, and mend broken friendships. A special type of folk song called Chow Tal is sung during the course of a festival with accompanying music usually played on two instruments, a hand drum called the Dholak and a percussion instrument called the Majira. Traditionally, holy celebrations start on the night before Holi with a Holika Dahan where people gather to perform religious rituals in front of a bonfire and pray that their internal evil be destroyed the way Holika, the sister of the demon king Hiranya Kashipu, was killed in the fire. In India, Holi is a national holiday which has been celebrated for thousands of years. There, festivities take place in all the streets and in people's homes. But here in Trinidad and Tobago, Pagwa is celebrated on the Sunday near to the actual date of Holi. And to get the full colored beer experience, you'd have to visit specially designated locations like the Orangwe Savannah. In this sense, Pagwa is open to everyone as people of all faiths and backgrounds turn out to participate in the jubilation each year especially in Trinidad and Tobago, where this type of cross-cultural experience is typical to our multi-ethnic society.
Come to the end of another segment of Rajaya. I hope you've enjoyed today's segment with all of the uh, celebrations today, all of the the musical items, the, the 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 songs that we brought to you today to celebrate the season of Holi. And of course, remind you that if you'd like to go to a live celebration, see here live chow chow, that it's happening at the Navy Mandar this afternoon. The Ontario Hindu Cultural Association is hosting the event at the Navy Mandar. Starts at 1 o'clock, admission is only $10, and all your favorite Chow Chow songs will be performed, so please be sure to join us there. Um, and of course, uh, the official day for celebration is March the 6th for Holi. And, um, you know, we hope that you, this weekend, you are getting out somewhere. Some, you know, temples all across the GTA are having uh, their, ho their holy celebration. So we do hope that you enjoy this wonderful season of holy through a celebration, a live celebration. We'd like to thank our kind so sponsors at Maharajadev Mandir, as well as our executive producer, Gari Khan, for making Rudra possible. And until we meet again next week, enjoy your weekend. Have a blessed week ahead, and we will see you right here next week, Saturday, on Rudraya. Namaste. <laughs>
श्री राम 